casket or adept at solving crimes and at romance. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Richard Castle and Kate Beckett moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the best moments, romantic or otherwise, between the titular writer Richard Castle and Detective Kate Beckett on Castle. There will be spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen the whole show, you may want to tread carefully. Number 10. You have no idea. Detective Kate Beckett, NYPD, we need to ask you a few questions about a murder that took place earlier tonight. The first episode of the series has plenty of standout moments we could have chosen. From the duo's flirtatious first meeting that sees Beckett interrogate Castle, to the scene where Castle deduces elements of Beckett's past. It was someone you loved. And you probably could have lived with that, but the person responsible was never caught. But our choice has to come at the end of the episode, where after solving the case and seemingly ready to part ways for good, Castle laments that they could have been good together, to which Beckett replies that he has no idea. It would have been great. You have no idea. Naturally, Castle and the audience were absolutely hooked when the tough detective showed us that the attraction was anything but one-sided. Number 9. Holding Hands After 3XK Here you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. One of the duo's most ardent foes is the serial killer known as the Triple Killer, or 3XK. Unlike most recurring serial killer nemeses on cop shows, Castle and Beckett learn who the killer is during their first encounter with him. Tell me something, Castle. Why did he let you live? To punish me. Castle figures out that the former cellmate of the man they've thought was the murderer was actually the real one. The killer had paid off his former roommate to imitate him in order to throw the suspicion off of himself. Now he's gonna kill again all because I couldn't stop him. Unfortunately, Castle figures this out too late, and 3XK ties him up and leaves. While comforting Castle over the killer's parting gesture, Beckett and Castle hold hands, showing their increasing level of intimacy, albeit in a platonic moment. I know the feeling. I know you do. Number 8. The Swings After Beckett is shot, more on that later, her hardened exterior only increases as she feels much more vulnerable. I like the dedication. Seemed right. Must have been hard writing that ending. This leads to problems with her relationship with Castle, whom she tries to push away, not talking to him for months. After reuniting to work on a case, Castle seems ready to push her away in kind, but Beckett explains that she broke up with her then boyfriend. After my mother was killed, something inside me changed. It's like I built up this wall inside. They have a moment on a swing set where Beckett explains her need to not feel vulnerable stems from her mother's murder and that until she can find closure, she doesn't feel like she can have a real relationship, essentially telling Castle to wait for her. I'm not going to be able to have the kind of relationship that I want until the wall comes down. And it's not going to happen until I put this thing to rest. Number 7. The Freezer I always thought being a cop I'd take a bullet. While investigating a terrorist bomb plot, Beckett and Castle find themselves locked inside a walk-in freezer when Castle's off-mission hunch proves correct. I'm, so, I'm sorry. For what? For being me. For going rogue, getting into, into this. Forced to huddle together for warmth and unable to signal for help, the crime-fighting duo's real feelings nearly surface as they face near certain death, with each expressing regret at how things turned out while also reassuring each other. Thank you for being there. <sighs> 
Although Beckett nearly seems ready to confess that she loves Castle, she passes out from the cold and Castle's desperate pleas for her to stay with him as he too succumbs to the cold is quite heartbreaking. I just want you to know how much I love Number six, pigtails. It wasn't personal, okay? She was just another job. She was my mother. The murder of Beckett's mother has been a major through line throughout the show and the detective's life. So when Beckett and Castle finally come across the hired killer, it is a tense episode that climaxes with a tense standoff in the police station. You wanna learn who ordered the hit on your mommy? You better make sure I make it out of here. However, in order to save Castle's life, Beckett is forced to shoot and kill the man, leaving her without answers. This prompts Castle to consider stopping his shadowing of Beckett, yet she insists that he stays, admitting that she's gotten used to him pulling her pigtails and that he makes her job more fun. And if you tell anyone what I'm about to say, there's going to be another shooting, but I've gotten used to you pulling my pigtails. Number 5. Beckett is shot. We mentioned the fallout of Beckett's shooting earlier, but not the particulars of the event. In another episode that delves into Beckett's mother's death, Beckett pursues new information that dirty cops were involved. Her dogged pursuit leads to a falling out with Castle, whose pleas with her to drop it fall on deaf ears. You don't know me, Castle. You think you do, but you don't. Ultimately, Beckett discovers that her own police captain was involved and that he has been protecting her. However, his death ends that protection and Beckett is shot while giving his eulogy. As Castle holds her as she bleeds, he confesses his love for her, giving voice to his feelings explicitly for the first time. Number four, first kiss. I'm open to dumb ideas here. Good, because I got one. After one of the dirty cops involved in Beckett's mother's death confesses his role and is later killed, Beckett and Castle investigate a drug lord. He's not buying a castle. They attempt to do so undercover, and in order to maintain that cover, Castle spontaneously kisses Beckett to avoid a guard's suspicion. While it may be a ruse, both of them get into character with quite a lot of passion, leading Castle to marvel in amazement, ostensibly on Beckett's ability to knock out the guard, though we have no doubt that he meant the kiss. That was amazing. Number three, the wedding. The moment that I met you, my life became extraordinary. Casket experienced many roadblocks on their road to marriage, with their first attempt being a disaster. And while their decision to elope with only their immediate families invited is rather abrupt, it still manages to be romantic, even if the sunset setting is achieved with a pretty obvious green screen. I promise you, I will love you. I will be your friend and your partner in crime and in life. Their vows are touching and reveal how much they value the encouragement and love they give each other, perfectly summing up their journey together, as well as touching on several recurring elements of their relationship. We knew these two were meant for each other from the beginning, but this only showed us that they would continue to be partners in crime and love always. By the power <laughs> vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Number two, the proposal. I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, about our relationship, what we have, where we're headed. The conclusion of season five sees Beckett and Castle uncertain about their future, as Beckett has been offered a job in Washington, D.C. Despite, or perhaps because of this uncertainty, Castle decides to propose to Beckett while sitting on their swings, ending the season on a decidedly emotional cliffhanger. Catherine Houghton Beckett, will you marry me? Naturally, Beckett says yes, but that didn't stop fans from being any less excited when we learned she did. 
The locale, their dialogue, and the great leap forward in their relationship make this moment truly special, and one that is exceeded, in our opinion, by only one moment in the series. Well, in that case, Richard Edgar Alexander Rogers Castle, yes, yes, I will marry you. But before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ah, uh, so we're Brangelina now? No, 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 we're Rick Kate. No, we're Kate Ick. Mm. Casket. This is, without a doubt, the greatest birthday gift of my life! <laughs> Even now, after spending all this time with you, I'm, I'm still amazed at the depths of your strength, your heart, and your hotness. You're not so bad yourself, Castle. You were right. You said I had no idea. But now I do. This is because of you. Because of us. Number one, the always kiss. It couldn't be anything other than this moment. Becca, what do you want? You. Beckett and Castle have a falling out, due to Beckett's reckless need for answers about the death of her mother. However, following a near-death experience, Beckett reevaluates her priorities and shows up at Castle's doorstep. She kisses him, and Casket finally gets together after nearly four seasons. I almost died, and all I can think about was you. Although their morning after is quite adorable as well, it's this pivotal moment that captures fans' hearts, as it marks the shift in Castle and Beckett's relationship from mutual attraction to relationship, changing them, as well as the show, forever. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.